Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. In this video we are taking a look at the Builder figure from the Spider-Man No Way Home stroke Armadillo Builder figure Wave from Marvel Legends. So these are all the pieces. If you check out the other 5 Minute Figure Reviews you can see which piece came with which figure. And I'm just going to assemble the Builder figure on camera in front of you just so that you can see how easy it goes together now historically some of the builder figures have had quite difficult uh, quite a bit of difficulty putting the legs together but these ones slot in quite easily with a little bit of pressure now he's a huge uh, builder figure really really big um, you can already see that the shoulders and head go off of camera here so I am gonna have to adjust my camera once he's assembled but there's the legs in let's just put the arms in the arms pop in nice and easy I'm gonna take the back piece off first and then on with the right arm as well, just a really simple pop in there and get the head. Head's a little bit tight, but enough pressure. There we go, and that's on. And then we'll get the back piece and just make sure the peg hole and the peg line up. And we should have the whole builder figure put together. There we go, and I'll stand him up. And as I said, I'll adjust the camera once I've got him stood. Let's stand him up properly, put his arms down. He's a really nicely designed builder figure. I'm not gonna lie, he is a really nice design for a builder figure. Right, let's change the camera angle. There we go, just zoom out a little bit. And then we can see there is Armadillo all completely constructed. So a little bit of background on this character as he is a bit of an obscure one. Um, he was first introduced around the mid 80s. Let me just pull in Miles Morales from the same wave just so you can see just how big this uh, builder figure is. But yeah, he was uh, he was introduced around the, uh, the mid 80s uh, in a Captain America book, ironically enough. Um, and we haven't had a single Captain America in this wave, which I find a bit bizarre. But yeah, he was introduced in the Captain America book. Um, and essentially his backstory is very similar to that of Sandman in the respect that he undergoes kind of experimental treatment because of his family. So that's the, the similarity to uh, Sandman. I'll just point out here as well that there's it looks quite pinless. Um, there's a couple of pinholes on the inside of the legs and the inside of the arms, but um, he actually looks quite pinless. And there's a lot of detail here in the like, chips in his, his plating on the back and you can bend him right over and he can kind of you know go in his go in his shell um but yeah so the backstory is is that he uh, undergo uh, underwent um experimental treatment um because of his family he's i think it was his wife yeah sandman's daughter was ill wasn't she and this and uh, armadillo's wife was ill so he did that and basically they fused his dna with that of a, an armadillo and you got armadillo there we go um he had a fight with captain america he's he's you know cross paths with a handful of different characters throughout the uh throughout his his lifetime but he had a fight with captain america um and kind of explained his story and kind of captain america let him go as opposed to turning him in there and then uh, he also had a spell as a wrestler if i believe so if i believe correctly i think he did wrestling as well um maybe that's the link they've made to, to spider-man here because of spider-man's wrestling origins um but yeah he was a, a wrestler um, i forget the name of the the wrestling league that he was a part of but uh, do go and look it up because it's quite a bonkers kind of backstory. But he actually wrestled as the Armadillo, not as the character before. Um, I think his Rodriguez, his name was something Rodriguez. Um, yeah, and something Rendri Rodriguez. Um, but yeah, he's 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 a bit of a bonkers character. As I said, I would have put him with Captain America or as part of a Captain America wave because that's where he originated from. But as with most of these builder figures they're kind of big obscure kind of characters that we wouldn't necessarily have got previously and as a figure he's actually really nice the detail on him is really nice the molding on him is fantastic uh, every single one of the kind of scales I want to call them on his on his armor um, because the armor wrapping around the legs it does make him look pinless from the outside so gonna have a lot of fun kind of posing this guy and sort of taking photographs of him as well the six pack just looks really like uh, sharp and like rock like almost um the pa shoulder pads do limit the, artic the articulation a little bit but not a huge amount because they're made of soft plastic you can move those shoulders around now i can't quite put my finger on it but it feels like that they've done something different with this one than previous builder figures um and i'm not sure what it is i'm trying to work out if any of the parts are reused from other builder figures we've sort of added sculpting on because the armor looks like it's been attached after production like after sculpting but i can't really tell but all in all he's a really cool build figure i love the big monster 
figures as builder figures I, I love it when they give us the kind of big monster figures um, and this guy definitely fits into that category especially these like fingernails and toenails they're like long and and he looks very accurate to how he did in the comic so big thumbs up for me if you enjoyed the five minute figure reviews then please do like share subscribe all of those things do check out some of the others including the full wave on my channel that's it i'll catch you next time